My name is Sean Mooney. Today I'll discuss the fact that it compel the desert cottontail to flee when in the presence of a perceived threat. The act of fleeing itself allows the cottontail to successfully avoid predation, effectively allowing the animal to live longer and increase its chances of spreading its genes. When the cottontail believes it is in danger, it reacts by shifting its ears in the direction of the threat, moving to a standing posture, and fleeing in the opposite direction of the threat. In a scenario where the cottontail is being pursued, the animal will utilize a zigzag escape pattern in order to throw the predator off its trail. I've developed four hypotheses using the framework of Tinbergen's levels of analysis to explain this particular behavior of desert cottontails. The first hypothesis that I developed was that the desert cottontail's small body size functions as a mean to avoid detection. This would fall into the ultimate functional level of analysis. The body size of the cottontail not only makes it easier to be concealed with limited shelter, but also makes it less appealing to other predators. In a study in the density of black-tailed jackrabbits compared to desert cottontail, conducted by Stutzer and Bayham, it was found that the density of cottontails was greater due to the hunting strategies humans used to obtain the jackrabbits. The jackrabbits weren't as concealed, and their larger size made them more appealing to hunters. The second hypothesis that I developed was that the desert co cottontail have evolved to ha have a heightened sense of predator detection over generations. This would be placed under the ultimate evolutionary category of Tinbergen's level of analysis. Survival to sexual maturity and ultimately spreading the cottontail's DNA is depending on the ability to avoid predation. This can be highlighted in a research article by Dean and Denise Biggins, in which they described an attack on a cottontail by a bobcat. They pointed to the cottontail's detection of the bobcat while being stalked and the evasive maneuvers that followed. The third hypothesis that I generated was related to causative proximate level of analysis. I hypothesized that cortisol levels in the cottontail spike during and after an encounter with a predator. This boost in cortisol would increase the heart rate, blood glucose, and alertness of the cottontail to help the animal escape predation. A study in 1985 by Hamilton and Weeks focused on cortisol levels of cottontails collected by shooting, trapping, and falconry. In the study, animals obtained by being shot were considered controls because they were unaware of the danger present. Hamilton and Weeks noted that animals who had been trapped displayed cortisol levels four times greater than those who had been shot. This indicates a clear connection between escape and survival responses and cortisol levels. The fourth and final hypothesis that I proposed was that desert cottontails learned to avoid dangerous encounters by watching family members and neighboring species flee from predators. This was evident during my encounter with two cottontails who seemed to use the birds around them to help detect potential predators. This behavior can be explained using a developmental proximate level of analysis. Following others when they have detected a potential threat would be extremely beneficial for a prey species like the desert cottontail. Observations made by Orr in 1940 and Ingalls in 1941 indicated that the cottontails cue in on alarm signals from sparrows and ground squirrels to detect predators. The fleeing behavior exhibited by the desert cottontail aligns closely with the principles discussed in the social behavior and group living lecture. Living in small groups allows these animals to increase their ability to avoid to detect predators. More eyes, ears, and noses around to sense danger is advantageous for the desert cottontail. Furthermore, the number of individuals around increases the chances of survival by way of the dilution effect. If the other individual is attacked, the desert cottontail may live to see another day. Thank you very much for your time.